Hello there, my name is Ladrin Bex and I'm a researcher into consciousness, sound healing and, and spirituality. So I'm a facilitator and um, yeah, my, my mission in life is to learn lots of areas of life, to gain wisdom, understanding and understand this big picture. Um, recently I've been learning a new language which has been um, very enjoyable, very challenging. Um, I've been following my heart with it and really challenging myself to understand more about the culture, the language, um, but it's still early days. Um, I started a year ago, I had a few months uh, where I was very quiet, like basically almost three quarters, three quarters of a year, and then the last couple of months I've been learning a lot more and surrounding my, my life in this new language. Although I can't speak it clearly, um, the language that I'm learning is Spanish. And the reason why I chose that is because it's one of the most well-known, uh, well, popular uh, languages out there. Um, you know, you have Spain, you have Ibiza, you have um, also the South Americas and probably other places as well. Um, and it's, it's quite a, a well-known uh, language. Me being a little bit dyslexic and then not understanding things and getting my mind to understand things. I did try learning Greek a, a few years back and I found it very, very difficult to learn. And, um, you know, I've always been interested in perhaps learning uh, Chinese or Japanese, but even that it was, it was just very hard to understand the new pronunciations and the nouns and vowels and the whole different alphabet uh, with all these sort of hi little hieroglyphs, which is, you know, the Chinese letters. Um, so, yeah, it's been really good to challenge myself and what I've learned on my journey, um, even though it's been a, a couple of months at this present time in February 2020, is that it's still early days. It's going to take a, a handful of years to really be fluent in the language. If I put in, you know, maybe an hour a day at the moment, I'll put in about four or five hours a day at the moment. And it's given my mind to focus on something. And not only that, from a spiritual point of view, from a consciousness point of view, um, you know, spirituality is is about um, facing fears and really understanding about the whole picture of reality. And what I've learned is that learning uh, this new language in, in Spanish um, is that it's given me a much more greater awareness of me listening to people. Um, because of having to listen to words that I don't understand it's getting me to really listen and so I've noticed that my listening skills have improved as well as understanding where certain words come from as well that are very similar and it can be very easy the way I see it is that there are similarities within words especially in the Latin language um, so I guess if you go to like Germany you go to France uh, a lot of European 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 countries um, speak a lot of like Latin uh, words. I found that when I went to Indonesia that was Latin also and I can't remember the full story but obviously people have um, uh, you know traveled and owned places and you know they've used that as their native sort of tongue. Uh, you would expect like Indonesia, Bali to be more like uh, Chinese speaking although there is a lot of Hindu and Buddhism etc in, in that country and those countries, um, their main language is Latin, which is, I found it very easy to learn. However, the reason why I chose Spanish is because I'm following my heart, it's in my heart to to follow that and uh, it's, you know, Spain is just south of the UK and eventually I'm looking to get, you know, land or, you know, a winter home there, um, south of the UK and enjoy a bit more warmer environment and, and better way of life. Um, Spain offers lots of great things. If you look at our produce in England, a lot of it comes from Spain. If you look at the, the spinach and uh, some of the fruits, it's, um, it, it would say it's sourced or country of origin is Spain. And also the whole thing with Brexit going on, I don't know what's happening, but you know, hopefully it doesn't happen with uh, food prices uh, rising, but it's, it's bound to happen. Um, so there's lots of different reasons of learning a new language. Spiritually, from a, a wisdom point of view, is that it's given me a greater awareness of myself, um, better memory. I've noticed that I'm able to retain information much faster. Um, like looking at passwords and passcodes um, on the internet for like verification, like on, on Google verification codes, I'm, I'm able to remember like a six 
digit number within seconds just by looking at it and remembering. And I think this is really good training for our minds to um, really, you know, give our brains a workout because we give our bodies a workout, you know, daily. We walk, we get up, we stretch. Perhaps we do yoga. I'm not a yoga person, but I, I'm a person that goes to the gym. And I found that um, it's not just the body, it's, it's the mind, body and spirit all together. So if you're focusing on just your body and, you know, your consciousness meditation, if you're not focused on doing like memory uh, games, memory skills, and even if you're not interested in learning a language, I do recommend learning a language. I find it's, you know, very enjoyable, um, especially when you hear people. I'm starting to hear people around me um, where I work um, who, who speak Spanish. And I was like, oh, hold on, <laughs> I recognize that word. Um, so things are becoming a lot more easier. Um, I say it's, I like to challenge myself and, you know, I'm a person that is always loyal to what I do and what I give. And I'm a person that never gives up at all. Um, if the source of that information or something that's happening gives up on me and life takes a different direction, then, you know, I have to take a step back because I have to honor myself, my own energy. But however, at the moment, I'm enjoying learning uh, Spanish. It's been um, very enjoyable, uh, challenging, has been frustrating in some ways because there are, in sentences, there are words which are flipped around um, and you would think it'd be in a certain way in English, but it sounds sort of back to front in, in a way. And perhaps English is back to front, who knows? Um, so from an outside perspective, looking at um, sort of Spanish and English, you know, I can see how easy English is to learn, but also how difficult Spanish is to, to learn. But I'm guessing from a Spanish perspective that learning English first time must be quite challenging. So I wish I had picked up a language, you know, when I was much younger and, you know, in a family that... Um, you know, we traveled a lot and, and, and did these things, but hey, you gotta make a start. You know, I'm not too old, um, I'm not majorly young, but um, there we go, you know, it's it's uh, having a good, good challenge. And it's, it's a life skill as well, not just in this life, but also perhaps, you know, when I pass over in the future, many years to come, that I'm able to communicate and uh, come through spirit perhaps, you know, and uh, have a conversation in in Spanish and English, you know, or Spanglish as we call it, which is a mixture of, of two languages. But yeah, it's been a really great and interesting journey, learning a new language. As I said, it's uh, given me the ability to like retain more information. I found that my memory has improved. Um, it's got something for me to focus on, like all the time. I really challenge myself. Um, so some tips that I found already, which is probably, you know, this is what helps me straight away is having flashcards in front of you and writing, um, you know, your, your, you know, I guess if you're watching this, your English, uh, you know, your native language, and then the, the language that you want to learn, just have it, have it there of different words. So, you know, what, where, who, why, when, because, all these different phrases, because these are popular words that we use uh, all the time. Um, you know, it's, it's not many words that we use to describe objects unless we are talking about that subject. So I find that learning the words in between the uh, material sort of object words and people and places, then those, those, that information is quite useful to start off with. Learning words, first of all, is very important to understand how they're written, to how they sound. Um, and what I've also done is surrounded my home in um, sort of uh, uh, sticky notes everywhere of labeling objects and, and things and surrounding myself in this language, uh, trying to watch uh, YouTube in, in uh, Spanish as well as Netflix and also changing my settings on my computer and uh, my Facebook and social medias to, to Spanish. I don't understand it fully, but I'm surrounding my, you know, my, my reality around in this language and it's helping to assist in learning more. So this is what I found out already. So I look forward to traveling to Spain uh, sometime this year. Um, 
There also, um, another useful tip is that there are lots of speaking groups around uh, the country, different places. There's one in Bristol, which is not too far from here, which I'm going to go to soon, uh, where people, you know, who speak a certain language, they meet up and they talk and they, you know, just share information. So I find it's very useful. Um, but yeah, surround yourself in that language is very useful. If you, if you have a break and you, you stop, then you start to forget a lot of things, but it becomes quite easy once you refresh your mind uh, daily or even weekly. Uh, another great tip there which I've learned for myself is just never give up. Never give up what you're trying to do and learn and be dedicated and, and loyal to, to what you're trying to do and just never give up. So yeah, uh, learning a language has been great, uh, opening up my awareness and also from speaking English, which is Latin, um, learning Spanish, which is a Latin, Latin words and letters, I've noticed that there are a lot of similarities between English words and Spanish words. Even if they don't look the same, there is a similarity of uh, other words which helps to remember. So there's lots of words that you know you can sort of put a picture or a story into your mind and uh, use that to remember, and it becomes quite easy after a while. So. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I just hopefully this has helped your awareness on learning a language. Um, no matter how hard anything is in life, never give up. Um, keep doing your best and uh, you know everything will make sense. So thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.